Hello and welcome to the lecture series on uh, power electronics. In this lecture, we would be studying about uh, the boost converter waveforms, the various waveforms that would appear in a boost converter. So, the operation of boost converter has already been discussed in the previous lecture. Let us quickly summarize the various equations that are associated with a boost converter. This is our uh, ideal boost converter. It has got an inductor, a switch, a diode, this capacitor to filter out the voltage ripple and this is a purely resistive load that is connected to the output of the boost converter. The basic operation of the boost converter is to enhance the input voltage level to a level compatible to the requirement of the load. Okay. So, uh, there are two modes of operation. In mode 1, the switch is on that means it is conducting and in that case when it is conducting diode is turned off and the voltage that is appearing across the inductor is equal to the input voltage because of the KVL if we apply in this loop because this is not this is disconnected. So, this is the only loop that is left and this is equal to the input voltage while the current that would be flowing in this case let me draw this case. In this case this switch would be conducting and this diode is uh, disconnected. Okay. So, current would be flowing here and current would be flowing here also. So, in this case the current that is flowing into the capacitor is basically equal to the minus of the load current minus of I naught that is what I have written it here and minus and I naught is basically the output voltage V naught divided by R because this is a resistive load and we can apply uh, the Ohm's law here. Similarly, in mode 2 when switch is off so that means this is uh, as good as this is open circuit and now the diode is in conduction mode. So, diode is conducting now. So, it is as good as this is short circuit. Please remember that at the beginning of the uh, course I told you that there are few things that would be assuming throughout the lecture and one of them being the the uh, uh, the switches would be assumed to be ideal okay unless and otherwise stated somewhere okay so although I would be taking up a case wherein there would uh, the real parameters of uh, the switch would be taken into consideration to derive the various relation but right now we are considering the switch to be ideal that means when it is on no voltage drop will appear across it and when it is off there is no current flowing through it okay so in this case the current all the current would be flowing through uh, the inductor to diode and then finally to the load so, in that case the input voltage is related to the uh, uh, the voltage across the inductor by this relation <coughs> since this point <coughs> is basically here. So, this is V naught and this is V in. So, V L is V in minus V naught. <coughs> While the current through the capacitor is equal to I L this is I L which is also flowing through the diode and gets divided here. So, this is I naught plus I C, I L is I naught plus I C. So, I C will be equal to I L minus I naught and I naught is V naught by R. <coughs> okay. So, uh, let us now try to draw the various waveforms that are associated with uh, a boost converter. I have already uh, drawn one of the waveform which is basically the current that will be flowing through the boost through the inductor. So, uh, it starts from some and uh, please remember again that I am drawing the waveform for steady state. Okay. So, I am assuming that the circuit has now reached a steady state condition and then I am drawing the waveforms. So, this is I 1 and this is I 2. Uh, the difference of the two would basically uh, the, the current ripple I delta I L. Okay. So, it would be linearly increasing. Why it would be linearly increasing? Because you see here we have V L equals to V in. Okay. So, V L 
is equal to L d i L y d t and this is equal to V in. So, if I try to bring this L this side. So, d i L by d t will be this upon L. <coughs> now, you could observe here that V in is a constant, L is also a constant. So, the ratio will be a constant value and derivative of some function i L if it is giving a constant value that means i L is linearly increasing with time okay? and the slope of the function is V in by L. So, basically this is a linearly increasing function whose slope is V n by L. Okay. While in the case, uh, in the second case in mode 2, so here V L equals to L d i L by d t and this is equals to V in minus V o and so d i L by d t will be equal to V in minus V o upon L. In a boost converter, the input output are related by this relation V O equals to V in divided by 1 minus uh, 1 minus small d, small d is the duty ratio. <coughs> in the previous lecture, I uh, uh, represented the duty ratio by capital D, uh, it actually uh, creates somewhat uh, confusion as the I am also using capital D to represent. Uh, a diode. So, uh, uh, so henceforth I would be using small d to represent the duty ratio of a boost converter. So, V in by 1 minus d, d lies in between 0 to 1 that means this value V in by 1 minus d is always greater than V in. So, the real, this, uh, this uh, difference V in minus V naught will always be less than 0 a negative value. So, that means the rate of change of the inductor current is negative and moreover this is also a constant. Okay. V in is constant, V o is constant, L is constant. So, the rate of change is constant and a negative value that means the current would be decreasing and its uh, uh, slope would be given by V in minus V o upon L. Okay. Let us now look into the waveform of the voltage that would be appearing across the inductor. So, this is quite uh, simple because we have already derived the relation V L is equal to V in. So, V L is equal to V in when switch is on this is uh, this is V in. Okay. Let me write more clearly V in and in the second mode V L is V in minus V naught which is a negative value lies somewhere here and this value is V in minus V naught and then it will continue like this. So, this is the voltage that would be appearing across the inductor. Now, come to the current that would be flowing in the capacitor okay? I C. So, again I have written the relation here for I C. I C is equals to minus I naught which is equal to minus V naught by R when the switch is on. So, uh, this is a negative value. So, it comes somewhere here. This is minus V naught by R and uh, when uh, the switch is now conducting then I C is given by I L minus V naught by R. So, whatever be the value of uh, I L, I subtract V naught by R from it and that would uh, basically give me the relationship uh, uh, the, the waveform for I C when the switch is off. Okay. So, let me draw it something like this and then continue. Okay. Now, this slope and this slope would be same V in minus V naught by L again. Okay and this value is basically I 2 minus V naught by R and this value is I 1 minus V naught by R. Okay. Now, let us take uh, the waveform for uh, now V C the voltage that would be appearing across the capacitor. 
So in the case when switch is off, in this case, uh, you could see here that uh, in the case when switch is uh, on, switch is on. So switch is on, then uh, the uh, you could see the VC, the voltage across the capacitor uh, is actually equal to uh, the output voltage V naught. Okay. <coughs> So, V C would be a constant value almost constant value and this is V naught. What will happen in the next cycle? So, in the next cycle V C will also be almost be equal to V naught, but let us see exactly how the waveform looks like. Okay. So, let me try to find it out. So, uh, let me do it here. So, you know that I C is related to the voltage across it by this relation I C is C D V C by D T. Okay. So, V C in the uh, I C in second case mode 2 when switch is uh, off it is linearly decreasing. Okay. So, that means V c needs to be a, a, a quadratic function in time. Okay. So, this has to be a some, some t square V c some proportional to some t square. Uh, there would be some uh, constant term also. Okay. So, if I try to draw it so, it would uh, look something like this and then again V naught. So, I have shown like this, I have taken the parabola, this is actually a equation of uh, a parabola. Okay. So, why I have taken like this because you could see here that uh, the slope is negative here. Okay. So, slope is negative. So, that means some, some minus value would be here. Okay. So, that means uh, the, the parabola looks something like this. This relation looks something like this if t is on the x axis and v c is on the y axis. So, that is why I have shown something like this. although it is almost equal to v c and uh, almost equal to v naught. Okay. But to be very precise, it would be uh, not exactly a straight line, but uh, a parabolic curve. Okay. Now, let us see what would be uh, the current flowing through the diode. Okay. The first case when switch is on, the current through the diode will be 0, because it is not conducting. Okay. In the next case, when the switch is uh, off, the diode is now conducting and the current I L is passing through the diode. So, this is I L. So, it starts from I 2 and goes till I 1. So, this is I 2, this magnitude is I 2 and this is I 1 and then it comes back again and it will continue. Okay. So, this d t time this is t. So, this uh, is same as I L in mode 2. What about V d? So, when diode is conducting no voltage will appear across the diode. So, in uh, mode when the diode is off and switch is conducting in this case you could see that this voltage is equal to minus of the voltage across the capacitor which is also equal to uh, minus of the voltage across the load. Okay. So, I could draw it here. This is minus V naught. So, this is V d. Okay. Now, uh, take the case of current flowing through the switch. 
the current that would be flowing through the switch in uh, in in this case when it is conducting so in this case i l so this i l will be flowing through the switch so let me try to draw it here this is same as i l so it starts from i 1 it goes till i 2 and when switch is turned off since it is an ideal switch no current would be flowing through it and then it will continue ok. So, this is I 2 what about V S W what about V S W V S W will be 0 when switch is conducting and when the switch is off and this diode is conducting you could see uh, wh what would be the voltage across the switch what would be the voltage across the switch. So, it is same as the output voltage ok same as the output voltage V naught. So, this is V naught ok uh, rather it would be uh, this parabolic shape fine. So, these are the various waveforms that are associated with uh, a boost converter. Please remember that we have taken the case when uh, uh, all the components of the boost converter are ideal in nature ok. So, uh, I should uh, stop here, thank you for watching.